So, Don, Coke, Sprite, whatever you want. There's no slot, Don. None. Look. You have got to be kidding me, Andrew. This is a CE5 hydrogen fuel cell. Look at this thing. This runs home or business. This is going to be so cool. We're going to learn about this today from Mike Up. He's going to teach us. Come on, let's go see it. Huh? You need to be put on a leash more often. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mike Up, Vice President of Marketing. This is Great. Andrew. Hi, Hi Andrew. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about your company. Well, Clear Edge Power was started in 2003. The company is on a very, very fast growth track. Started in maybe, like say, January 2009. We had 33 employees. We're now going to go over 220 just this month alone. You're a living example of the green economy at work. Absolutely. This will take 40% less natural gas to produce the same amount of heat and power than what you would run through the today's traditional grid. And it would produce 37% less CO2 and produce literally no NOx, no SOx, no particulate matter like a natural gas power plant would do. Let's go see how these things are built. All right, let me take you across right. the street. This starts here. Uh, this is basic sheet metal. We're gonna build a cabinet and a box, and then we're gonna put all the important components inside. This is a pretty important piece. This is where all the electricity that's made is gonna, is gonna pass through here. This is the inverter. Here. This is a water tank here. It is, is it? and we've just installed one water tank, and then that's our oil pump. That's for our oil loop. What's a, what so is this? This is a steam pump, and that's for our water loop. This is the overboard heat exchange. Uh, this is part of a, an essential cooling system that's actually gonna collect steam and uh, cycle it back into the system for water. And this now is starting to look more like the original masterpiece. It is. Bring this down into like bite-sized chunks. Sure. What goes on here in this box is we have natural gas that comes in, that goes in a fuel processor and becomes hydrogen. Hydrogen right. is the fuel for our cell stack. Right. Cell stack makes power. Right. Power goes here. And converts the current. Correct. Converts the current to AC current, which we're gonna run right into the home. This is our fuel cell stack. It's gonna make five kilowatts of power and uh, we'd like you to put it in. What we're gonna right. do is slide it in just right on the tray here. Straight just, back. Just a slight push. There you go. That's not light. Just like that. This is the final burn-in area. These units run for about oh, 48 hours, uh, and they want to make sure every component is working correctly. And as you can see, the units are connected to the building, so all the heat and all the power that this unit produces while it's going through burn-in is actually going in and offsetting our uh, use of heat and power from the ground. Wonderful. Yeah. This is all in-house developed software connected to our units that are being burned in and it's testing all kinds of uh, sensors and you know potential points of failure so that as it goes through the burn-in process we're making sure that all of those are testing out before the unit okay. is ever shipped to the so customer. So when you say burn-in you mean? The unit's just running for 48 it's hours. It's running for yeah. a while. Now Mike sent me in this room to learn a little bit more about how high-tech this company is when it comes to monitoring their units out in the field. We keep track of every product that's out there for at every single customer site. Every product, every, one. every customer so, site. Actually the idea here is that every alarm that comes through we get and we know before the customer knows there's anything wrong with our system. Our sort of overall uh, screen is everything that is out in the field whether it's in Korea or whether it's in Northern or Southern California, we have a couple Oregon units that are more like demonstration units. By looking at the colors, you can see instantly what's going on with them. For instance, a yellow means that there's an alarm at this site, but it's something that uh, may not shut down the system, probably not in fact, but we actually look at it right away and say, hey, there's something going on with that, and we better look into it a little bit further and see if we can get the situation rectified before the customer even knows there's anything wrong. Mm -hmm. So green means it's going fine. That's right. That's good. And That's what's right. blue? Blue actually means that it's uh, not actually drawing any power yet, but it's actually on and it's connected. This is safe, efficient, and green. Well, we did manage to find out that this is not the most expensive Coke dispenser on the planet. Right, Don? That's right. This is clean, clear, safe energy. It tastes pretty good as yeah. well. What's that? This is coked on. It came out of the back of this machine. Oh, sure it did. This particular model has two purposes, energy and coke dispenser. Yeah.